over. 25 minutes just ticked over. Heard gets a tap down. Over towards Price. Price gets it over to Richardson. He's up forward. The pack flies. No mark. Here they go. It's Oborn once again. Austin after him. Over to Twiggy Dunn. Dunn hooks it over. Thompson's waiting there. Thompson turns around and triples it through. The bounce favours him. He has it now. Runs into trouble. Fortunately for him, he hand passed it out to Atkinson. Atkinson is centre wing. Looks for uh, Oborn at centre half forward. Has found that player and a 15 metre penalty to boot. Will come from this infringement. Oborn was flattened after he'd taken that mark. And it should be a 15 metre penalty. And there goes umpire Smith. And this brings Oborn within 30 metres of goal. Well, there's been very little animosity between these sides today. It's been a skillful game of football in the main. Only one or two infringements. Oborn lines up and he's put it through and that seals the game. Oborn. First goal of the game. And there is Croswell, but he's been ignored by South because he kicks a long high kick, starting to drop. Carlton kicking into a slight breeze in the first turn. The man in front's Oborn. Umpire Robinson says it's his mark and he'll take it right on the boundary line. Or Robert Dean down there, but it's Oborn who will have the kick. Well, he is a great kick normally. Uh, what he've done was fit, I would say, a chance for a mark. We'll see what Oborn does. He's gone for the short one in toward the forward pocket. The kick didn't travel any more than about 15 to 20 <laughs> metres. And there's Duell trying to pinch a few metres on uh, Wayne Richardson. But Richardson has enough experience to realise this. And umpire Robinson, who performed very well last week, still doing a good job today. Wayne Richardson now going for this shot from a very tight angle on the boundary line about 50, 55 metres out. A torpedo punt kick which was wobbling in toward goals. It was not on line. The, big... the Carlton back pocket Ruckman comes in now with a long kick up towards the half forward. Frank Thompson's there behind, judging it beautifully and brings it down. Len Dill, Thompson. Still once again trying to pinch a couple of metres but he's been whistled back. Oborn dropping back. That's a free kick. If ever you have seen one. That was Oborn. Uh, would have been a mark but he was pushed in the face. By Pennell coming through, umpire Robinson had no hesitation but to pay the free kick to Rodney Oborn. This time I would say he would have the shot from 40 metres out. 40 to 45, the left foot will be favoured by Oborn. There's the kick going on its way now, it hasn't got it quite well, but it's on its line now. It's... Yes it is, it was on line. I thought that had missed, but Oborn has brought his first goal uh, to the Cottingwood scoreboard by 22 points, 21 and a half minutes into the game. Up they go, the tap down comes towards Collingwood, has been picked up and kicked here by Oborn. Deeper into the half forward flank territory, South, we couldn't hang on to it. Comes down here and it's Collingwood the, trying to get through here through Twiggy Dunn and Twiggy Dunn gets uh, hold of the ball. Carlton get hold of him in the, per medium of a push in the back and it'll be Ross Dunn to take the kick. There it is. Have a look at the strapping on the boot of Ross Dunn. So that'll be the, the foot he'll put his weight on when he drives for a goal from... Uh, about 40 metres out, no more, should make the distance, in he comes, props at a torpedo, punt kick, it's on its way, it hasn't got the accuracy though. The mark in the back pocket for Carlton, the kick by Dixon up toward Duell, players to compete at Wayne Richardson, oh, got the front bird, and got some treatment too, as you could see, uh, got, took a nice mark there, Duell had that all sewn up, but Richardson got in front, bullocked his way backward and took the mark in front of Bruce Duell. Now from the half forward flank on the outer side, Collingwood kicking to the Wellington Road end of VFL. Centre half the forward in there. Centre half forward. A big Barney on. There's a lot of players throwing their weight around. There's little Georgie Bissett getting in for his sixth pinnacle. I think he's only trying to break it up. Umpires coming from near and far. Thompson in there having a few words to say to quite a few players. Naturally, they'd be Carlton players. Oborn saying someone biffed me. He didn't say who. And now we see umpire Ian Robinson having a few words to say to Philip Pennell. Now the ball is still with Wayne Richardson on half forward flank on the outer side a long way from that scene of activity Richardson going for the short pass in toward Oborn Oborn taking the mark on the forward pocket area and once again a little bit of a thing going on out there a 15 metre penalty against Dool well that could be a costly uh, 15 metre penalty because when Oborn took the mark he would have been 50 metres out from goal and now of course he's only 35 metres on about a 45 degree angle favours his left foot he comes in stabs at the ball so the 15 metre penalty down there tapped away from Thompson picked up and kicked by Armstrong up towards the centre of the ground trapped here by Dean trapped neatly too he gets a hand pass across here and it's uh, well, Cranage for Collingwood who puts them forward up towards the half forward flank Oborn there traps it takes it away from his teammate Bissett gets onto the left foot goes dangerous football but Bob Hurt hasn't got the mobility been pushed aside on that occasion 
there's Oborn on the scene, he's balked some dummies, got a hand pass, now it's a little foot pass, Robert Dean going gold with a long kick, it's Bissett in the goal square, Bissett can't take it, it's Bissett! Shepard him out on there and Jones took the uh, took the ball, kicked it over to Ward Dixon, it's been tapped to turf, picked up by Oborn, Oborn sees a pass coming up from Wearmouth, Wearmouth played that one nicely but he's occasion to take the mark. It's the kick is toward Crane. Crane and Oborn will fly for this one and Oborn getting in front taking the mark. Oborn dashes away. Hand pass to Max Richardson. He straightens up from 30 metres out. Shoots at goal. Umpire indicates all clear and Cotty would have come back to a tune of six points by Max Richardson and at six points the difference in Carlton's favour. Eight him of Bruce Stool as the ball's kicked high. Up towards centre half for Hurd in good position. Mackay is too far under it. Comes down to where Bob Hurd can't control it. He gets a nudge in the back and will take the free kick. He's at centre half back. Looks for a short pass. Puts the short one in out towards his teammate down there in Paul Crannies. Crannies in turn onto the left foot. Up towards uh, centre wing area. The Magpies playing the loose oh, man it's... tactics. A bad miss by Rodney Avon, but he backs himself a pace against Armstrong. He wins out two, puts the ball under the boot, kicks up McCann. Nichols doing battle. Thompson didn't get the tap down, neither did Nichols. Picked up by Robert Dean. Once again, it's getting carried toward the boundary line, but umpire Robinson indicates a free kick to Collingwood. Robert Dean in this back pocket position where that last boundary throw in took place. Dean from this position looks upfield to where Jenkins is calling on centre wing. Dean's uh, slips is about to come in to kick. Now it's Dean placing the ball up toward Jenkin. Thompson's there also. They all fly high. It's uh, taken here by Barry Price. A hand pass to Oborn. Oborn on the left foot. Kicks up toward the half forward flank area. Collingwood in front by six points. Nichols doing the ruck work. Hooked it to the back of the pack. Taken by Cranage. A small kick. He should have hand passed. It comes up field. Crane there for Carlton. Can't accept that Oborn on the seat for Collingwood. Picked it up and bounced it straight away. That's Oborn running away from Crane. That's Oborn with a panic in front of him now. Oborn's got all the Bell Park in front of him. Oborn a short one to Jenkins. Jenkins takes it. Plays on. A long kick at goal. It's up the side of the... Only five at six metres in from the boundary on the half forward flank for Collywood. A chance as Oborn picks up a blind kick to drive uh, Collywood forward. Bissett competes but can't take the mark. South becomes on the scene. Uh, Jenkins came in there to try and check that his teammate through. Wasn't successful. We see uh, McKenna fighting for the ball here. He's desperately trying. Was held. Didn't take it. Here's Weir now. Going into an open goal. A hand pass into the goal square. And the goal! This is the big replay coming to you through the cameras of Channel 7 and your commentators, Jack Edwards and Frank Adams. Well, certainly a valuable goal by Bob Hurd. Good play there by Ronnie Wearmouth. Looked for a while like he might have blazed away at goal, but he saw Hurd and slammed the big hand pass right into the centre of the square and Hurd put, as Jack told you, Collingwood two goals ahead. I might pay tribute at this stage too to the fine player Rodney Oborn in the last quarter since being shifted to the centre he's continually driven Collingwood into attack but it's back for them it's the Blues train going for it it's backing up there we see uh, his teammate in Welsh in Armstrong but it's still Crane battling for possession free kick free kick being paid against Gary Crane holding the ball decision coming up and uh, going Collingwood's way Collingwood now through Darrell Salmon on half-back flank, move up towards half-forward flank, up towards the pack of players down there, they fly. The ball punched down here, Dill had an opportunity, but it's taken here by Austin. He breaks clear, puts the right foot into the ball, kicks it back towards his half-forward flank area. Salmon's there, so to his crane, the boundary umpire signals out of bounds on the fall, and once again, Darrell Salmon to take the kick. Now it's Thompson down there, but he's relaying the ball back to Salmon, so Salmon from the position we saw him kick from before. The hand passes across towards Thompson, puts it more across towards centre-half forward. Dean flies, so does Jenkins, and Jenkins takes the mark. He's a bit uh, deeper than centre-half forward. He's going in toward the half-forward flank area. The pass is on Oborn there for Collingwood, and Oborn has marked within kicking range of goal. It's Collingwood down by 13 points at the 24 and 42nd mark of the final quarter. For Stewart to drive the ball forward, couldn't get away with it. Wood has it, taken by Jenkins. He's been in opening Jenkins. Dean gets the ball across here towards Oborn. Oborn coming through, has one bounce. A left footer right down towards the goal square. It's over the line. They go, the ball knocked down here. Hunt comes in. Ball picked up by Oborn. This is a better kick from Clay. Straight up the centre of the ground. The Green's in front, makes no attempt to mark. Punches it forward. Salmon also makes no attempt to take as he gets it down to Oborn. Oborn a strength so far in the centre. Looks for Thompson. It was over. And that his side was very confident. And they were particularly sure that they would win this game. From the knock, we see it taken this time by Oborn, who's well on top in the centre so far. Getting many kicks. It's taken by Cranage. Cranage is high left foot kick towards the wing. Green comes oh. up. It's built. Uh, unfortunately tripped over the top of the Collingwood. Waves there, threw the ball out when he was being held, and the kick 
will be taken by Doug Gott, Collingwood's back pocket punt. Gott, normally a beautiful kick, should put the ball right out of danger for the Woods. He goes short, looking for Adamson. Walsh comes across. What good play by the Collingwood defence then. And they're very fortunate to get out of it as we see O'Callaghan with the free kick. O'Callaghan goes straight up the centre of the ground. He goes long. Thompson from behind. Losing his height to advantage. And it was Thompson who quickly goes on with a head pass to Oval. He breaks past a couple of players. Francis Burke gets... Thompson coming right up from centre half forward to compete for the knockout. As Jenkins stood back there. You saw Jenkins in the screen. Standing well back from the knock as Thompson came right down. Thompson gets the kick, goes for short, looking for Oborn, who's been getting away from Stewart. Oborn goes over the top to Bissett. Bissett wastes no time in putting them all forward. A floating kick from Bissett, punched away by Magoo, knocked forward by Kane. Taken now by Jean, whose kick goes down. It's bouncing one way than the other. It might be a goal. No, it's get the knock, but it comes back now where Lamb collides with his own uh, teammate in Kevin Bartlett. And out of it all, we see a Collingwood free kick to Cranich. Cranies with the ball. Cranies drives it to the half forward line. Green coming across, couldn't hold the mark. It comes back to Bartlett, and Bartlett's knocked out of the way by McGee. It gets forward to Bissett. Bissett goes short, looking for Kink, and Kink accepts the mark. Kink has kicked one earlier in this turn. Bill Deller in control. There's the bounce. The players move in and up they go. Jenkins gets a tap away. Oburn has the run. Oburn taps it out towards Max Richardson. He's got a clear run. He gets a push as he kicks, but... ...towards the wing on the outer side. Wayne Richardson's in there. Couldn't quite come out with the ball. Ooh, there's a free kick call. Salmon almost lost his fingers. Accidentally, but nevertheless, the rule says... ...and Salmon will take the kick. Out towards the wing position on the outer side of the ground. His kick in towards centre half forward. The players set themselves, but Richmond men are in front. Could be a free kick going Richmond's way. Oh, it's the other way. Well, Fowler looks nonplussed. What did you think, Bobby? He's painted that way all day, Mike, so I'd say fair enough. I, you know, that individual one, I mightn't have quite seen it that way, but he's been consistent, so, you know, I'll go along with it. Oborn takes his kick to the edge of the goal square. Big herds in there, plenty of big timber. In comes Atkinson. Atkinson hooks it over his shoulder. And he's put it through. Well, there you are, the luck of the draw. One of those freak goals, mate. All credit to the lad. I don't want to detract in any way, but uh, a trifle amount of luck. Bob, we didn't go for it. Taken by Sheedy. Sheedy's kick is a hurried one up towards the centre, and a good mark has been taken there by Oborn of Collingwood. Been a very effective player today. Oborn's kick down into the fall, and we are 17 minutes into the third quarter. There's the bounce. A chance here for Oborn to go through. Tackle by Burke. His kick goes up towards the pot. McKellar's coming on. Back with Oborn. McKellar getting ready to come on. Graham Richmond standing up there beside McKellar as Oborn with the kick. Oborn drives it towards centre half forward. Big Roberts in front.